video for this Friday in Orange City. Waving flags here from four till seven ish. Get your butts out here. Saxon Boulevard, Enterprise Road. And if you're not subscribed, better hit the subscribe button. Clam slash with that. The clown show. Welcome to the clown show. from our buddies at uh, Paint the Trump out of Florida. Hope you enjoyed that. We got a good show. Have you ever made money? I don't know. We always make money, guys. Always make money. So let's, um, got a lot of videos for you today. Um, I had just a lot of comments about the city of Chicago and um, why it's so messed up. And, um, we're going to have a video here for you. Um, I saw a study recently. Of uh, from WirePoints, okay? Here's a, here's a, I was pointing people towards wirepoints.org, okay? They got a lot of articles um, about Chicago and Illinois and why it is why, why like it is. Um, my answer on why Chicago is so messed up in Illinois, too, is all the smart people have already left or in the process of leaving, which leaves you a bunch of idiots to run the rest of the uh, citizens, right? So that explains it in a nutshell, why you see so much stupid stuff happening in the city of Chicago and Illinois. Um, when, when you raise taxes and you tax people to death, um, you got to expect that the ones that are actually the critical thinkers, the smart people of the world, are going to take their business other places. So let's, um, let's get an update on uh, how bad the sh uh, Chicago public schools are. And um, at the end of this, be aware that the Chicago Teachers Union is uh, <coughs> uh, negotiating, I guess, a, a contract in the next uh, year or so. So they're going to want a big increase in money for their their members. Um, you tell me at the end whether or not they deserve it. Illinois public schools in 2022 that found zero students passed the state map. That's zero as in none. Okay, just like make sure we're okay with that. Zero means none. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. Efficiency test at 53 public schools for reading it's only 30 schools and only one out of 10 kids or less can do math at a grade level in 930 schools which is more than a quarter of all of the schools in the state what do you think is happening with academia as a country we're certainly not leading uh academically the way we have in the past and when you talk about ellen and and you wonder why we have a hard time counting votes folks with an education system like this um you gotta gotta wonder how that plays into counting votes and they're using the state test and it's not showing uh competency with these kids you can't continue to do the same thing anytime they tell you money equals results in uh, schooling and public education, they are totally full of crap. Look at all these schools. Look at the amount of money they're spending per school, per student, and the results they're getting. The results they're getting are barely anyone can read. It's not money. It's about attention to detail and merit. It's not about money. You got that chart? 
Look at this. Here we go. Most of look at the all the way like 70% of these are city of Chicago schools. Um let's see who else. Uh Delavan, Kankakee, McLean, Scott Morgan, Brooklyn. I don't even know where that's at. But anyway, there's a there's the schools that can't read at grade level. 70% of them are the city of Chicago. Um, let's see, Chatham, that's a bad area. Uh, Association House, Austin, Community YDA High School, Olive Harvey, Sullivan House, West Town, West. Uh, let's see, I've uh, got some prep schools even on this. Inglewood and Bronzeville Prep, North Lawndale Prep. Um, the prep schools are supposed to be the better schools. Richards Career <laughs> Academy. These are all, most of these, I guess these are high schools. So uh, kind of sad. These people are going to get pushed through to college and then they're going to learn how to read. Yeah, put that up there. You can see that. So there you go. We had a little bit from B B Dan Bongino and that also explains uh, why, why Chicago is so messed up. Um, let's go to Denver. I see um, Denver's consolidating uh, four of their shelters um, for the newcomers, the migrants, the Biden buddies. Um, I'm not sure how smart this is because there may be more on the way, folks. There may be more on the way. It's uh, 42 and rainy today. It's cold out, but uh, not... Uh, they're getting snow in uh, Denver still for the next month or two. So uh, they got a lot of people on the streets there. So let's go to, uh, I think it's a Fox Denver with the two. Uh, they got some great anchors in Denver. And a shout out to my buddy Incarnate from Denver. He's always looking to provide us with details on Denver. Although he hasn't commented on these two anchors. I wonder what he thinks of these anchors. But anyway, let's watch this video where they're consolidating four shelter spaces in Denver. Will shut down. The move is expected to save the city millions of dollars. But the question now is, will the migrants end up on the streets in big numbers again? Fox 31's Vicente Arena is joining us now from an encampment at Elitch Gardens. Vicente. Tell you, after the yeah, this if you look in the background, it's like a swimming pool with slides and you know things. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, in another couple of months that the city's not going to want tents outside um, of the swimming pool where people are bringing their kids to to uh, refresh themselves in the hot summer heat. But just thinking, you know, just saying that, just saying. The mayor let that news out today. We came to this encampment to talk to the migrants here. They talked about how they had heard rumblings that this might happen. It's the reason they expect this encampment to grow. A big move today by Mayor Mike Johnston regarding how Denver houses the influx of migrants. Four hotels that have been handling the largest number of what the city's now calling newcomers will shut. NBC Suites, that's no slouch hotel. They have a nice happy hour in the evening and uh, made to order breakfast. I wonder if the migrants got that. Uh, I'm sure that was costing the folks of Denver a pretty penny. Down. But the mayor says the city should not expect the number of migrants living on this. As I said before, it's not. Look, if you look in the background, you can see a little bit of snow. It's not the time of year to be camping in Denver. Um, they still got a month or two of snow potential coming down their way. To rise. To be clear, no one is being displaced from these shelters. No one's length of stay policy will be changed. The four shelters will be phased out over the next four weeks since fewer migrants have been arriving. Three other shelters. That's a call to our friends in Texas. Send more. We'll stay open. The new estimated cost of housing. Let me say that again. Folks in Texas, if you're watching this, send more. $120 million in 2024. That's a $60 million savings. Right now, that of course is dependent on future inflows. If we see huge surges again, those numbers could change. Migrants at the Elitch Garden. There you go. There's the there's the wonderful slide. That's a huge slide. So, um, with lots of tents outside. I'm thinking that someone's going to want to utilize that pool and those slides in the next couple of months. Just saying. 
Cabin's encampment, fully expect that more people will be living here soon. ¿Usted cree que van a llegar más gente? Do you think more people are coming? Eh, sí, yo creo que sí, but... Artur Gerder believes this encampment will grow now, but Amy Beck says... We're wondering where everyone is going, uh, because we are... People are disappearing in Denver for some reason. Um, I wouldn't think so, unless, uh, uh there were, we had... We had a report a couple days ago where the people in the shelters were trying to convince the people they needed to go to Chicago, New York, or head to the border, and were providing free tickets to do so. We're not seeing them hit the streets. We're not seeing the numbers being bust out. And so uh, we're not sure where everyone is going. Johnson said hundreds are working on getting work. If you live in Denver, check your basement. Maybe they're in your basement. Organizations. Others are receiving high quality case management that's helping them find stable housing. That's not the case for those at this encampment near the heart of downtown Denver. And we were told today that there are about 2,300 migrants staying in shelters at this time. And get this the average number of migrants arriving in the city of Denver now has dropped to about 30. Live outside Elitch Gardens, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. All right, Vicente, thank you. So there you go. They're getting, they're trickling in um, maybe 30 at a time in Denver. Um, Chicago, there's not a lot of news about the migrants. Um, the last couple of days, it seems like there's a media blackout or they're just not covering it like they used to. But this uh, video here hit the news <coughs> the last couple of days where um, there's been some uh, airplanes, secret Joe Biden airplanes that have been um, being uh, shuttled from foreign countries to the United States. And um, we, we haven't really heard anything about it. Uh, most of them ended up in Florida. So I'm surprised we hadn't heard anything up until this time about this program that Joe Bergen uh, was undertaking to bring more illegals, border buddies, Biden buddies into our country. So let's listen to this real quick. Biden administration's secret migrant flights, brand new analysis showing the previously They were a secret. Don't say anything. 386,000 illegal immigrants from unknown. 386, that's quite a few. Thousand. And look at uh, 336 of them went to Florida, Miami between October of 2022 and this past February. 326,000 of them went through Miami. Second on the list is Houston. No secret that governors Ron DeSantis and Greg... Chicago got about 1,500, and that's pro probably why we're... <coughs> We've been seeing people camping out at O'Hare. I haven't seen any pictures lately. Don't even know if they're still uh, housing anybody at... Uh, the airport, we the number counts that we get in the media have pretty much dried up for some reason. Gavin are two of President Biden's biggest critics. Florida Congressman Corey Mills, <laughs> Congressman, 90, 90% of illegal migrants flown by President Biden in this secret flight issue thing that Biden did were to Governor DeSantis and Governor Abbott states. Is that merely a coincidence? Well, not at all, Todd, and you know all too well that this is an attempt to retaliate against red states. You know, the governor here in Florida, as well as for in Texas, have continued to bust those to the sanctuary cities who claim that they want to have the immigrants that are coming into their cities, but yet they want to complain about them like Mayor Adams has done. Looks like 3,000, almost 4,000 went to Baltimore. Maybe they could help with the bridge collapse, and uh, maybe we got some work for them to do there. Just saying. Look, what we know so far from the investigator Ben Smith from the Center of Immigration Studies is that approximately 326,000 has come on what they're calling a humanitarian parole program. As you pointed out, from around October of 22 to February of 23, there's around 326,000 that we know of. He also stated, though, in his investigation that he had no cooperation with CBP or others to actually give him the real numbers. That means that when we're talking every single month, when we're saying... 200,000 across the border this month, 175,000 in this month. That's not including this humanitarian parole program that Biden has set up to illegally go ahead and bring more criminal migrants from Honduras. 
from Venezuela, from Guatemala, and these are the countries you are dumping their prisons. And so you look at this, Todd, and you say, how is it? Uh, let's play that again, where these people are coming from. They're coming from the prisons, folks. These are not the best of the best. They're the worst of the worst. Go ahead and bring more criminal migrants from Honduras, from Venezuela, from Guatemala. And these are the countries who are dumping their prisons. And so you look at this, Todd, and you say, how is it that we... Worst of the worst. ...thousands of these angel families like Lake and Riley or like our own Florida State representative... Oh! Sorry, sorry. That's he not had not a bad. cell phone issue there son after being killed by a man who was supported three times and so this is a real human humanitarian national security and health crisis look at these numbers again 4500 atlanta 4800 boston 1500 chicago 8000 to la 4500 to the streets of san francisco 22000 to houston here because if I'm Joe Biden and I don't know maybe I want to change the makeup of an electorate I funnel in 326,000 new voters who potentially are indebted to the Democratic Party to a state like Florida where Governor Santos is crushing it in terms of winning elections lately state level well, and not to mention the fact that these individuals that are coming in are actually being counted into our consensus statements. So when you're doing these consensus surveys and you're trying to determine what area has a high dense population for a representative, it's also modifying our maps when we actually are looking at elections. So even if you're saying that they don't count towards actually going into elections, they do count in the redistricting of making sure that you have certain population densities that are represented in each individual state and each individual district. And so this is absolutely absolutely intentional. This is the replacement theory by the Biden administration. You have 70 to 100,000 who die of fentanyl poisoning every single year. You've got angel families that are continuing to accumulate. This is a absolute violation of our sovereignty and it's unconstitutional and he should be impeached for this and I hope that the Senate will take up and take seriously the impeachment articles that we have presented from the House that Speaker Johnson has now passed over to ensure that Mayorkas is not only impeached but that we can go up the chain from there for those who are truly responsible which is Joe Biden because I can tell you Todd as you know this did not occur under President Trump. Thank you Corey Mills for keeping So there you go there's some update on the Biden buddies, the border buddies, uh, the newcomers, <coughs> pretty much the illegal migrants. The illegals, folks, the illegals, they're here. They're here and they're here to stay. Um, that's the bad news, I, I have to tell you. They, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be here for the summer. Um, you may want to buy them a beer on the streets when you see them. Um, so there, there you go. There you go. That was breaking news from Migrant Mayhem. I am DJ Wonder Chrissy. This is Land Cruiser Midwest. Like, share, and subscribe as we for some more breaking news. And check out wirepoints.org. They got lots of good articles that'll make your head spin about Illinois and Chicago, guys. It's just unbelievable what's happening in this state. It's happening in the city of Chicago. And I'm telling you, the reason why is all the smart people have already left or are in the process of leaving. There you go. DJ Wonder Chrissy over and out. Thank you, thank you, 